What a night. I stumbled onto a secret gathering at the Stone Circle. The Indian in charge of ceremonies almost killed me. I had to run as I have never run before in my life. I lost consciousness. Dr. Cobble has prescribed some pills to get me back in form. My three photos have been taken. I hope Mr. Meyer's plates are still good. Webster is friendly. He left so quickly, however, that he forgot to give me back my tripod. Young Webster has agreed to be my guide. It is time. This must be the rest of the message on the rifle. North, East, Beast. Four by two stars. The cavalry is here. A strange message written by Bonus. Hello, Mr. Matthews. Get all that ready for you. It's going to take a while. I have a favor to ask. I must develop my place, you see, and... Help yourself. It's a door at the end. I'll be with you as soon as I've finished. In case you've forgotten, you need to develop and fix your place. That requires mixing four different chemical products. You find the products you need to mix for each preparation on the shelf. The chemicals seemed a little tired out. I'd better develop all the plates together. What a night. A few drops of metal. Let's continue. A dash of hydroquinone. Well, let's see the fixing solutions.
a spot of sodium sulfite. Let's continue. A sniff of potash met a bisulfite. The British Scientific News will definitely fire me if I'm not able to develop a photograph. I'd be What a night. The chemical seemed a little tired out. A few drops of metal. Let's continue. dash of hydroquinone. Well, let's see the fixing solutions. Let's continue. The merest hint of sodium thiosulfate. Let's continue. A sniff of potash met a bisulfite. No problem. How horrific! Ah! My heart! Thank you. Thank you very much. Without you, I... You see, that's a lot better already. Don't push your luck. I'll try to remember that. I'm counting on you. So is my daughter. That comes to ten dollars. Now I must leave you. Will you be all right? Don't worry. The drugstore is open from 8 to 6. If you need more pills, just stop by and ask. Thank you again. Something strange happened today. I developed my photographs at Matthews. What I saw is difficult to describe. One of the plates reveals a horrific vision. Alas, I lost this proof, my plate having fallen down and crashed into pieces. Did you manage to develop your photographs, Mr. Parker? Surprise, Mr. Pa.
Parker, isn't that right? I can take care of myself. A word of advice. Stay away from the forest. There's something about it that doesn't agree with some folks. So, how about the photos? I just wanted to tell you, your plates are still good. Well, be sure to show me the results. I'm sure you'd find them far too amateurish. In any case, I'll certainly be back for more very soon. Alright, but don't wait too long. Bye now. Something strange happened today. Something strange. Oh, Mr. Parker, have you seen my aunt? She's Bible reading in the town center. Thank you. If she asks, please say that you haven't seen me, will you? Count on me. This door is locked. A statuette. These butterflies
Ah, a key. It doesn't work. So, you kept your promise. Who did this? I didn't see. What does it matter now? I'm going to get some help. No, it's too late for that. <laughs> and I can still... 
will be of some use to you. Quick, give me the parchment. They came to find it. Great heavens, it's as I thought. It means, in his dwelling place of dead relier, Cthulhu dreams and waits. <coughs> Do those words ring any bells? I've come across the name Cthulhu in old manuscripts concerning primitive religions. Nothing more. Mr. Parker, man has not always been the master of this world. <laughs> Many ages ago there was a race of gods, the great old ones. But how can you believe such... I have little time. Rightly or wrongly, many believe that by using certain incantations, these loathsome creatures <coughs> can be brought back to reign over us once more. How? There are portals through which the great old ones will enter in exchange for the promise of power, wealth, and immortality. Oh! oh. There are men prepared to perpetuate the hideous ancestral cults and work for the return of these gods. <coughs> what are these gods? Where are they? They are at once far away and very near. Their names are Dagon, yog Safoth, nyal Cthulhu. There are many others. The passing of Halley's Comet coincides with a favorable astral conjuncture. <coughs> they will return. Parker, you must stop them. You must. Do you hear me? How can I stop them? In two nights from now, in the center of a stone circle, the guardian of the portal will materialize. It must not be allowed to happen. <coughs> you will find here a book called the Necronomicon. Within its cursed pages, you will find the formula you need. Be warned, Parker. The book drives men to madness. Do not take it from here. But if you... My desk, the message. That man will help you. Some of Illsmith's citizens will seek your destruction by whatever means possible. Read the message in the safety of your room. But... Noracomus, the sorcerer, even dead, he wields Ghastly power. Dead? Remember, <coughs> more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of in your philo- I won't forget, Tobias Jug. The Necronomicon. I'll need it. This little key must open the lock on this book. The doesn't work.
ancients were. Jug has been killed. I found him in his secret library. I don't know who did it. I must be careful since I am probably a prime suspect. The ancients were. The ancients are. The ancients will be. Yog Sothoth knows the portal. Yog Sothoth is the portal. Yog Sothoth is the guardian and the key to the portal to summon him. Stand inside the circle at the appointed hour. Yagnai, Thafthok, Nagai, Yog Sothoth. Incant three times. The light will be. The portal will shut. can help you lives where the three colors float. From there, 100 messages leave. He's recently been looking for the forgotten symmetry, which is on the map everybody can see. Now, where have I seen a map of the region? And what are these three colors? 100 messages? Mr. Parker, how about a drink with poor old Jed? I'd love to, but a little later. I'm in something of a hurry. Another time, then. I was told there's a map of the region hanging up here, but I can't seem to... Oh, well, David Underhouse asked me for it, and I lent it to him. The poor man can't get around, you know. Such a cruel world. Where can I find him? There! The door at the end! Interested in Indians, are you? Mr. Underhouse is very keen. He's been looking for that cemetery for months. I beg your pardon? The cemetery of some Indian tribe, the Muckamucks or something. Well, he found it, and my, is he happy. Now why should a fine man like that take such an interest in savages? As for savagery, as for savagery, I think the Indians might have learned a thing or two from the 7th Cavalry. 
Mr. Parker, my father often said, the only good Indian's a dead one, and he knew what he was talking about. Now, if you'll excuse me, some of us have work to do. Thank you for defending the Indians, Mr. Parker. No, the walls don't have ears. They are merely very thin. I believe you want to consult the map of this region. Please, go right ahead. I'm very grateful, Mr. Randlehouse. So, Mr. Parker, why don't we discuss the Micmac? I'm afraid I didn't make myself very clear. It's precisely because I'm so ignorant about Indian culture that I'm here. Have you heard of Naracalus? Indeed. He was the last of a particular branch of the Micmac tribe, a branch known as They Who Worship the Night Howler. By Night Howler they meant Nyarlathotep. How did you hear about him? We met. He almost killed me. But he is supposed to have died 70 years ago. I can only tell you what happened. I know it's none of my business, but may I ask what you're looking for on the map? Do you know this place here? That's the Stone Circle, the location of the Micmac Burial Ground. And you say you know nothing of Indian culture? Does the name Cthulhu mean anything to you? Let me answer you with a question of my own. Did you know that those who worship Nyarlathotep are rewarded with a very particular gift? Immortality? Do you think that... There are names it is wise never to pronounce, and people it is wise never to meet. Are you talking about the Hamilton family? An ancient curse hangs over Pilsner. Some of the townspeople practice strange rituals in the worship of foul and age-old gods. I wanted to know more, and my curiosity cost me my legs. And Tobias Jug, who led me to you, is dead. Dead? Dear God, there is no time to lose. Andrew Arlington isn't here. The diary containing the origin of the curse is locked inside his office safe. I'll get the diary and bring it. No, you'd better leave it where it is. There's no point in alerting them, is there? I can give you some information. I know the combination to the safe is made up of a number of digits. You don't happen to know what they are? When I discovered it, just before my accident, the digits had something to do with the Bible. Well, thank you for your help. You can thank me by bringing me a photo of the stone circle. That's a promise. Good morning, ladies. 
Gloria, I forbid you to speak to this, this person. He is nothing more than a ruffian who fights in the streets. That's a little unfair, Miss Picot. Young Webster needed some help, and it was my duty as a Christian to... Good Christians do not spend their time in bars, Mr. Parker. Good day to you. Please forgive me if my behavior upsets you. Would you mind if I borrowed... I hardly like to be without it. This Bible is the last reminder of my great aunt, a most God-fearing woman. I just dropped in to say hello. That's very kind of you. I just received a magnificent brooch, imitation silver and gold. Very cheap, two dollars. I also have a pretty locket at one dollar. What do you think? I'll take everything. Thank you. Come back soon. I met Mr. Underhouse. He claims there's a diary locked inside the mayor's safe. He could not give me the combination, but suggested I reread the Bible and find the figures that symbolize evil. Don't try buying my respect with worthless shiny bottles. How kind of you, Mr. Parker. It's almost like the one I lost last week. I don't know how to thank you. Here is my Bible. Please take good care of it. Thank you so much. Page 303. St. Paul's Epistles, chapter 3, verse 16. Destruction and despair will cross their path. Page 
page 181, Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, verse 15. And Peter stood up among the assembled brethren, some five score and twenty. Page 345, The Apocalypse according to St. John, chapter 13, verse 8. And the number of the beast is 666. I met Mr. Underhouse. Ah, you'll have to come back later. This is my break. I simply want a few words with the mayor. Not possible. The mayor is not here at this time. I don't want to bother you, but the mayor suggested I enjoy the view of Ilsmouth from his- Ah, yes. You must be the photographer. It's about the next edition of the Ilsmouth Town Hall Journal, I suppose. No, I'm the reporter. Well, all right. But don't go touching anything. Reporters. They can't leave anyone alone. There's a handle hidden in this painting. Let's see. It's exactly as I thought. No, that doesn't work. Why don't I unscrew this case? What's this inside? A piece of paper. A parcel to collect at the post office. Hmm. It's addressed to W. Hambleton. My name's Jonas. Jonas Hambleton.
Wimbledon. In 1829, I made my fortune the hard way, at sea. Even the big Boston businessmen were jealous of my fishery. At that time, I became interested in the occult. I read only the most accursed books. And then, I met Narakamus. He initiated me into the ancient practices. At last, I was in contact with those from the outside. Each day my knowledge grew deeper. My body regenerated. My hands were at last palmed. But the ancients wanted more. Much more. I gave in. My own wife, Lavina, was the bargain, you see. I screamed out the invocations. And he came. The sea would take all I cherished. But that was of no importance. The pitiless god Dagon wanted that union. That was the price of my immortality. Two sons were born of that wondrous night, Wilbur and Curtis. The second of them betrayed and abandoned me, but the first followed in my footsteps. He has my gift. He can beg to the stones. They all think I'm dead. Only he who reaches that place where water, earth and sky come together can find my burial place. Our work was destroyed in 1834, all because of that accursed Boliskin. But gods are immortal, and time means nothing to me. Nobody can destroy the families without the statuettes which I guard and the secret incantation. In 1910, the comet will come again, and the prophecy will come true. The great ancients will reign. I will swim beside my Lavina in the abyss, and we shall sing the praises of he who cannot be named. I'll put the diary back in its place. three dollars please that must be a frock mr. Hamilton always orders them from Boston thank you good day Let's see what's in this package. I have found the diary Mr. Underhouse told me about. All began with Jonas Hambleton father to Wilbur and Curtis. Then, in 1834, 
four Ilsmith families made a pact with Narakamus, who promised them immortality in exchange for their help in bringing the great old ones back to defeat these four families and prevent the return of Cthulhu. I must find four statuettes in J. Hambleton's crypt. Then I must await the passage of the comet. Nobody really knows if old Jonas is really dead. Mr. Wilbur, everything okay? Oh, we can go. Mr. Wilbur is there. Nobody. I think I'll take these ridiculous clothes off. He's there. We'll have to break the door down. Go get a beam. It's a small sundial with a metal point at the center. I have the feeling that the point serves some purpose. Well, well. A mechanism which opens. It's a small, well, well.
Why not use the wax from this candle to strengthen the wing? Let's hope it holds. Now, let's just hope this thing works. Otherwise... Where am I? Have no fear, Mr. Parker. You are safe now. Thank you. You were the only one brave enough to act. Do you feel better? Yes, thank you. God be with you. The danger is great for you. We spent the night in that accursed forest, and we heard the devilish chanting. We saw Mr. Wilbur. Be quiet, Pepto. I can help you. I can make the shadows speak, the shadows that wander in other worlds. They may be of help to you. Well, if you think so, go ahead. Sit down facing me, Mr. Parker. Concentrate. Empty your mind of stray thoughts. Followed in my footsteps, now you must destroy the curse of Cthulhu long ago when Illsmith had no name. A temple stood beside the shore. A sorcerer perpetrated barbarous sacrifices in the name of the great ancients. The walls amplified the chants of the blood-crazed adepts. The great ancients took pleasure in our suffering. They have not forgotten the splendor they once knew. If you do not act in two nights, when the comet passes, then the world will once more be enslaved to these loathsome gods. to return. What I did 76 years ago, you must do. I will help you. But first, you must fight the men who give themselves over to these abominable rites. You must fight alone. Ancient 
city toppled to the bottom of the ocean. Only thoughtless fools imagine the curse has been lifted for eternity. Of that accursed city, only a stone circle remains. There, the surviving members of the cult meet for their hideous rituals. The great ancients impatiently await the day when they will reconquer their lost kingdom. And in his city of dead Raliah, Cthulhu dreams and waits. upon the face of the gods and hope to keep his sanity. Now you must go to where Jonas rests for all eternity. You must leave now. Remember, nothing is written forever. Believe in yourself.